Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Jake here coming at you from New York City on Monday, January the 11th, 2021. How are you doing out there? Uh, we've been talking a lot about civic duty and freedom and what it means to be an American and how that freedom right now is at stake. Well, folks, get ready because the time has come for us to do our civic duty. You'll see what I mean soon. Um, remember, we're not Republicans or Democrats. We are Americans. We're not Biden supporters, Trump supporters. We are Americans. We are supporters of the Republic of the United States of America. And we are going to need to unify in order to make it through what is coming our way. Now, you might want to run out and get yourself some Pepto-Bismol because the information that you are going to have to swallow in the upcoming week is going to be very hard to digest and I'm not putting it lightly this is not a battle between Republicans and Democrats as I said this is a battle between good versus evil um, so to kind of help you prepare for what's to come the truth um, I can ask you a couple of questions um, what would you think if I were to tell you that the most powerful people in the entire world for the last several generations are devil-worshipping pedophiles that deal in human trafficking and murder. Next question. What if I were to tell you that the Pope and Vatican were in cahoots with Italy, Germany, and China um, to throw the election towards the Democrats and Joe Biden, the 2020 presidential election, um, in an effort to forward their agenda of a new world order. Question number three. What would you say if I told you that in order to become a movie star in Hollywood, you would actually have to make a deal with the devil? I would say, well, that makes sense. Next question. What would you think if I told you that every single war since World War II was completely manufactured and premeditated and scripted in order for a small group of people to make money off of both sides and to keep us divided so that we are easier to control? Next question. What if I was to tell you that everything that you have believed your entire life and built your moral foundation on is false. And that the news media, the mainstream news media, has been found guilty of domestic terrorism for steering us in the wrong direction with propaganda to forward the bad guy's agenda. What would you say to that? I know what you would say. I know what most of the people I know would say. They would say that I'm crazy or a conspiracy theorist or have done something to somehow damage my brain. Well, that's what they would say today. But later this week, let's see what you say. All right. Things are going to get kind of dicey, so make sure you're good to each other. Please keep it Keep it as calm as possible. Try not to panic. Try not to freak out. There's going to be things revealed that you're not going to want to know about, but we have to know about. There are going to be people that are, like I said, people that you have counted on your entire life that have turned out to be just uh, scumbags of the worst kind. Um, so, I'll leave you with that. I hope this finds you well. Don't panic if... Uh, the emergency broadcast system goes off because that's probably going to be the only way to get the truth out there before uh, too long because mainstream media will not report it. Um, so, anyway, provision up, stay safe, and until next time, stay tuned.